girls. Just giving everybody a minute to get on. Sorry I'm late. Hi Kelly. How's everyone? I'll just give everybody about a minute to get on. So, um, I'm a couple minutes late because Mr. Maxwell <laughs> is still awake. So, normally an 8.30 bedtime is, um normal but of course since mommy had something to do right at 8 30 um there was boycott going on here and i finally gave up so he has promised me that he's gonna sit there eat his carrots and watch his tv show um is the tv show loud in the background for you guys i put it low hoping that it wasn't gonna be too distracting can you hear it Okay, good. All right, I'm just getting prepped here in the background. Let everybody get on. So just a little um, uh, explanation of Periscope. Like this right now, we already have a creeper, which is getting blocked. <laughs> There could be creepers that jump on here and, um, yeah, Ramon, gotta go. Okay, so, um, a little couple tips for you guys if you're, oh my goodness, this must be the creeper hour. So, if you guys can help me out, unfortunately, I have to do, um, do this publicly. So, for those of you that are on here that are not here for my training, um, this is a training specifically for my team, and if you're not here for that, then I don't suggest you stick around. Um, yeah, it's crazies. So if you guys, you guys can actually block people for me. Um, those are those of you that are on here for my Jamberry training. Um, if you see any creepers jumping on here, feel free to just tap them, and you can block them for me, and that would help. And just ignore them if they pop up. Um, I wish I could make this private, but I want to make it open for um, all of you that are here for the training. So that's the way I have to do it. Um, another couple tips. I know a couple of you that are here um, for the first time on Periscope. You can... Um, Oh my gosh. I'm just going to ignore these. Um, you can type comments in the bottom. I would love this to be interactive tonight. You can tap the screen for hearts if you like something that I'm saying um, or if you're agreeing with me. It's an easy way to just show, um, show your support. So yeah, just like that. Thanks for the hearts. Okay, so I'm just going to get right to it and um, so this is our first monthly um, Periscope broadcast. Um, so I know it's not designed for private training. So this might be, this is a trial and error. And if this doesn't work out, then we will switch to something that's more private. Um, but I really like to be live and interact with you guys. So I'm hoping that this will do the job. Um, if there's a way for me to do this privately, I may um, need to figure that out and we'll do that in the future. So tonight's the first one and so I'm sure it's gonna be a little rocky, but just hang in with me and um, I hope you guys get something out of it. So, um, okay, I'll look into that when I'm done. I had I did do a private one before, but not everybody was able to get on. Um, so there were some issues with that. So tonight, um, we're just gonna talk about how to prepare for this month, December and um, also January. So we had a great November. I just want to talk about some of our statistics um, and give recognition to those who are, were our rising stars for last um, for last month. So our team sales, let me see where am I here? Okay, 
here we are. Okay, so I'm gonna flip this around for you guys. Okay, so here was our total November sales. $86,785. Um, our team sold in the month of November, which was awesome. You guys did a great job. Um, our top 10 sellers are here. And I apologize in advance if I butcher anyone's name. Um, I'm sure I will, so I'm sorry. <laughs> but you can see our number one top seller was Kate Ryan with an amazing $3,602 of PRV. Followed by Christy Krutoff, Christy Talam, okay, here I go, Talampas, uh, Sarah Cutnor, Neur, oh my gosh, this is terrible, Heather Johnson, Jennifer Bostrom, myself, Hallie Martinez, Danielle Durand, Danica Danker, and Lisa Lamson. So you guys were our top 10 sellers for November. Um, yay, Danica. Um, so that was awesome. You guys did such a great job. We had a lot of um, ladies last month in the $1,000 club. Um, so there were many others um, that had $1,000 and over. Those were just our top 10. Um, our rank achievers. Oh, wrong one. Okay, I'll start with the recruiters. So our top recruiters. Again, Sarah with four recruits. That's awesome. Christy again with three recruits. Heather and Sarah both had two. Great job. And then Kate Orion earned Hawaii last month. She's going to Maui. She's the first in my downline that earned the incentive trip to Maui. So she's going to Maui paid through Danbury um, for work in her business all year round. Send some hearts for Kate. Okay, now we will see here, done that one, and I will be posting these graphics in the training page as well for you guys to look at um, and uh, tag those that are on these lists. If they're not um, on here right now, they'll be able to see their recognition. Um, next, we'll do our rank achiever. Last month, Leslie Cascalis, who... Um, many of you know has been one of the team managers on my team. She re-ranked to team manager um, last month, so that was an amazing achievement. We also have a new lead consultant, Sarah. That's the third time we've seen her name, so she was a busy girl last month. Um, at senior consultant with Sarah Workman and advanced consultant, we have six new advanced consultants. Amy Smith, Lisa Rossetti, Kimberly Patalis, Michelle McDonald, Melissa Stone, and Marla Eberly. So congrats to you girls. You did a great job and most bonuses for those ranks. So that's really, really awesome. Okay, so um, now that we um, acknowledged our rising stars, I want to just talk to you guys about um, what to expect in the next two months to come, the month that we're currently in and next month. So January, December and January are known in direct sales to not be the best. Um, we were fortunate enough to have Giving Tuesday start off our December on a really, really high note. And you guys sold over $20,000 worth of product in just the first day of December. So that was amazing and um, really just started off, off on a really, really good foot. So, um, but it definitely doesn't stop there. We are now entered into the prime time for holiday shopping. And it is, now that Thanksgiving is over and behind us, everybody's really um, focused on crossing people off their Christmas list and full on Christmas shopping. So this is a really, really crucial time to work your Jamberry business and if you choose to and you really work it hard um, and up until at least the shipping deadline, which is the 15th of this month, um, you will really be able to reach all your goals early and then be able to take a, a little bit of time off during the holidays and spend with your family. So that brings me to um, the first thing I just want to, to talk about and acknowledge, which is December's um, brand value. and 
for those, let me open this up here. Um, for those of you in Jamberry, you know that we have awesome brand values. Um, our home office is founded on really, really amazing brand values that they want us to follow and kind of um, create the core of what Jamberry is. And every month we really like to focus on one brand value. So this month is to be a family. So Adam, our CEO, has always um, really talked about this a lot. This is like his thing. This is what he gets choked up about and cries when he talks to us. But this is really important to those who run a home office and run our company. Um, Adam himself will tell you that family is first priority and it always has to be. Um, your Jamberry business, of course, is important and your success is important. Um, but like it says here, but never at the expense of their most of your most important relationships. Make sure to keep family time at top priority. It can sometimes be difficult to balance um, your personal life and your family and your friends along with your Jamberry business. And it takes a lot of planning. It takes a lot of goal setting. Um, but if you do that, you're a, you can, you know, create a balance and a schedule and you can, um, work your Jamberry business and become successful and not, uh, neglect your family and your priorities. So, um, if at any time you feel like, uh, your family is being neglected or maybe your husband isn't too happy with the time that you're spending on your Jamberry business or maybe your kids are starting to notice that, um, you know, you're on your phone too much doing Jamberry stuff. Just kind of regroup, take a step back, um, and do what you need to do to be there for your family. You can still consistently work your Jamberry business um, and be a mom and be a wife and um, work a job and do everything you need to do. It just takes balance and um, a lot of planning and scheduling. This past week has been really hard for my family personally. We lost my grandmother this week and you know I needed to kind of step back and take a step back and be there for my family and just kind of have some um, alone time. It didn't happen that much but this week has been crazy. But my personal life required me to kind of take a little step back for this week. And um, the beauty of our business is that I could do that. Um, and I knew that my business was not going to sink because it was, I'm not taking off a couple months or a year. I'm taking off a week and I was still doing things here and there. So I wasn't completely absent, but I could regroup and do what I needed to do personally. Um, and I'm still here. So if you don't allow yourself those um, breaks and those, um, you know, personal things that you need to do, um, it will take the joy out of January for you and you don't ever want that to happen. So just keep your family and your personal life top priority and find your balance. I know it's easier said than done, but it can be done. I, if I can do it, anybody can do it. Okay, so next... Um, we're going to talk about the new year, and that includes December and January. All right, so where am I here? First, we're going to talk about some tips for sales this month and, in, and going into January. Oh, wrong one. Oh, please. All right, here we go. And again. So... Here are some tips for sales before the 15th of this month, which is our shipping deadline for Christmas. That's the, the suggested um, date that Jamberry gave us to get your orders in to ensure Christmas delivery. Um, so here's some ideas uh, that you can do this um, before the 15th of the month to get some sales in. Like I said, everybody's full on Christmas shopping mode. So really take advantage of this time. Um, go back into your old parties and post in there. Um, go into your VIP groups and, you know, share all the holiday designs and share the gift ideas and the gift packages that we have available. Um, right here, the suggestions are find a men's group and have bundled gifts for wives, mothers, daughters, etc. You can hold your own open house or find one to be part of for Christmas shoppers. 
I've done a couple of those in the last couple weeks and they've been great. Um, and they were, as I've, you know, the last one I did was the most busiest because the closer you get to Christmas, the more people are buying. So right now is the best time. And you have enough time that if you need to, you can plan your own. Um, maybe invite a couple other uh, people that you know that have their own businesses to your house and have a little open house for your friends and their friends. Um, buy your own gifts out of your Jamberry website. Buy for your teachers, coaches, neighbors, etc. Your business is being promoted every time you give Jamberry gifts. So don't feel weird by giving Jamberry as a gift. Um, you know, you are investing in it. You're still purchasing their gift, but it's also helping you out, you and your business. When I post this in the training group, you guys can share any ideas that you have as well. All right. Now we're going to talk about after the shipping deadline because it sounds kind of easy to sell right now because everybody's buying Christmas gifts. But what happens after they can't get Christmas gifts anymore? Then what do we do? Well, um, after the shipping deadline, we could hold a customer appreciation party. Um, this is a really great way to get your old hostesses back together, maybe some friends that have been on the fence about trying Jamberry, you can invite them over as well. Um, invite all your customers, all of your local supporters over to your house and just kind of have a manicure party. It doesn't have to be totally salesy. You could just offer free manicures for those that have supported your business. And then, um, you know, you're, you're bound to get a few orders or booked parties in there. Um, customers still need wraps for New Year's. So still push the New Year's wraps. We just um, launched our glow in the dark New Year's wraps. So really push them. Do a fundraiser for a charity you care about. It could be a homeless shelter, an animal shelter, or even a family in need, whatever it is that's close to you. Um, you can do that. Last year, I did something that was really um, really great. It didn't really generate a ton of sales, but it was just a way to give back through my business. And you can offer um, to find maybe three women um, who may not be receiving Christmas gifts this year, maybe single moms that don't have much money. Um, and you can offer to have your friends nominate them and you can gift them um, a Jamberry gift. Um, promote Stylebox. Stylebox is a great Christmas gift and it's not um, something that they have to get you know before the shipping deadline they can you can come up with a really cute um, gift box with some products in there um, to put something under the tree but that's a great gift for after the shipping deadline make courtesy calls to past customers and hosts that may need to replenish their stock does anyone have any other ideas that they'd like to add um, that we haven't talked about before or after a shipping deadline, please feel free to comment. Um, I'm trying to catch the comments, but I'm not a huge multitasker. Do I still have girls here with me? Gift cards. Yes. Gift cards are great. You can come up with a cute little, um, gift envelope put the gift certificate in there, make a cute one. You can just use the co code right out of the email and make a really cute gift card. Seven day chip challenge, yep, always good. Even if you only get one or two new people that wanna try a chip challenge, it could really bring something great. Mailing holiday cards to past customers or people that requested samples, yes. A show appreciation to your past hostesses and past customers with Christmas cards. It's all about building relationships. 100% of this business is built around building relationships. Sending Christmas cards is a great idea to continue to build those relationships with your customers. Yes, totally. Okay. I love it. All right. So next we're going to talk about tips for recruiting. Okay, so in the new year, some tips for recruiting um, is, so the first one is treat December just like every other month with your recruiting goals. Just because it's around Christmas time doesn't mean you need to, you know, change anything up with your recruiting goals. 
Newly signed consultants will have an opportunity to share the news of their new business at family gatherings and holiday parties. It's a great way to um, help them launch their business. They sign up in December. They're going to be in contact with everyone, you know, most people that are local to them that they know and love. And it's a great way for them to share their new business. December is a great month to start. New consultants will have a full year to work towards the incentive trip. That's my favorite one because, um, you know, starting in the beginning of the month, they have such a great chance to earn the incentive trip. By January, we're going to know where it is. And if the if this year is anything like the past years, uh-oh, I have a creeper. Say hi. What? What do you need? Um, I'm not done my call. More carrots. Well, you're going to have to wait. Um, so, I mean, mama, sorry. Mommy. Hi. What? I mean, no more kids because it really hurts. Okay, that's a good idea. All right, I'm almost done, okay? I was forgotten. You were forgotten? You forgot. I okay, forgot. go ahead. Go back on the couch. I have to finish my call. Okay. We had a long talk before I got on this um, call that he was going to stay quiet. Um, what was I saying? Oh, incentive trip. So, yeah, they are gonna, they're going to have the whole year to get that incentive trip. And in January, Jamboree usually offers double trip points for sales in January. And that's a huge bonus and boost to start your year off with a ton of trip points. Yes, he has been great, thankfully. You never know. Okay. Now we are going to go. All right, our last slide here. Setting up for 2016 success. Now is the time to be thinking about your 2016 goals. Who was on the training call last week with Shanna Beeman? I wasn't able to see who was logged on, so I don't really know who's joined us. But if you were on the call, um, we talked about setting your goals and how important they are. And um, it was good. Good, good. Some of you are. If you missed it, you can go into the past training and the recording is posted there for you and you can listen back. The re replay is in there for you. She also provided us with a goal sheet um, to create your your goals, um, and not just your business goals, but your personal goals as well. Um, you know, whatever they may be. But I shared during that call how I was never really a big believer in vision and goals. Um, and up until I went to the executive retreat now, up until I went to the executive retreat in Orlando last year, um, Shanna really talked about vision and goals a lot. And I, finally got it and realize how important they are and to keep those goals and vision in my vision all the time you know at my desk on my phone um, anywhere where I can see them often so that I can really believe that they're possible and believe it and repeat it and say it and and just dream that it can happen and some of those goals I have achieved, some of them I know I will achieve, and a couple I'm really close to achieving. So it really helps for you to reach those goals. You have a, um, a destination that you want to get to, and you are working to reach there. So, And it's also easy, when once you have goals, you know where you want to get to, you can break that down. Um, yes, right? Write the vision, make it plain. Yes. <laughs> make it plain. Make it simple. Yeah. Make it simple and just, you know, realistic, but challenging. Keep it realistic, but keep it challenging and push yourself out of your comfort zone a little bit because things that you don't really think you can achieve, you'd be surprised if you just put your mind to it and set a plan. So once you have those goals, whether it be, um, a, a, uh, rank that you want to achieve or a certain amount of PRV, um, this month or a certain amount of recruits to find this month, um, whatever it is, break that down to what you need to get there. So if it's a certain amount of PRV, um, then how much 
um, how many parties do you need to get that much PRV? Break that down and then focus on booking that many parties. And, um, you know, break it down into bite-sized pieces and it will be so much more easier to um, be achieved and, and to reach your goals. So, you know, January starts a fresh year. Um, maybe 2015, you didn't, you know, um, reach where you thought you were going to. This is a year to just start fresh. Find your excitement again. Jump back in, you know, full force and take January to, you know, start it off strong. If you can start off January strong. It can really carry you through the year. I shared with you guys a while ago how, um, I was like dead. I had no parties on the books, zero parties on the books. And it was about March. I got one party in April. Um, that was really great where I booked three parties from that party. And that one party back in April has carried me till now and still going from booking to booking to booking to booking. I am completely in my cold market, 100% in my cold market and continuing in my cold market. I have not needed to touch my warm market once since then. Um, so it really doesn't take much. It can take um, just one good party, one good recruit. Um, you know, it really, you never know when something will happen that just kind of takes you off. Um, but you have to stay consistent. You have to stay focused um, and consistently work your business every single day. It does not have to be, you know, five hours a day. It can be one hour a day. It could be two hours a day. It could be five days a week. It could be six days a week. It could be four days a week. Whatever it is that you're able to do that fits into your lifestyle, um, just make it happen and make whatever that time is dedicated 100% to Jamboree where you're not distracted by anything else. Um, and you can just really, how do I, how do you recruit from a dead party? Well, some parties are just dead and they don't work out and that's okay. We all have dead parties where the sales aren't great, maybe none at all, and you don't get any bookings. And that's okay. Everybody's going to experience them. Um, obviously, the hostess loves Jamberry, so keep in contact with her and, you know, keep her as your VIP. But you're going to have flops. It's just the nature of the business. You just got to kind of brush it off and go on to the next one. Um, so let me turn this back around. The rest of these points here. So it says, start your new year off with a bang. You should be doing something every day towards your business, even if it is small. Schedule when you will have set power hours. Power hours are huge, you guys. Like, they're crucial. Even if it's a small amount of time, it doesn't even have to be a full hour, but if it's a power time that you're dedicated to, you'd be surprised how much you can get done and um, how much you can get income-producing activity within your day every single day. Commit to them. Going into January with a full calendar will start your year off on the right foot and can carry you through the year, just like I was saying earlier. Having goals in place for the new year will provide focus and direction. I just talked about, um, but you know, it's so true. And I wouldn't be preaching all this if it hasn't worked for me personally. I know from experience that this is the stuff that works and that will, um, you know, bring you success in Jamberry. And this is not a get rich quick scheme. This is not a join and fly up the ranks. Yes, there are people in Jamboree that have flown up the ranks because of, you know, whether it was the timing or the people that joined under them. I feel sneeze coming on. Um, it's going to come. It's just a matter of time. <laughs> um, so, yes, it has happened, but that does not mean it's the reality or the expectation. You should expect to take a few years for you to get to a leader level. That is what Jamberry um, projected. Their projection is that it takes 18 months on average for a consultant to reach team manager. So, you know, take that as your reality and that this business is going to take time and it's going to take work. Work. Which wraps, I am actually wearing, this is, these are my throwback favorites. This is called Delicate Rose. Can you see it? I actually have gel on top of them, but they're a matte wrap. And they are one of my favorites. And I only have two sheets left that I um, have saved. They're my unicorns. 
Um, but I just decided on a whim to put them on this week because I was just feeling them. But yes, they're pretty, right? I know a lot of people that don't like them at all, but they're totally my style. Thanks. So that's pretty much all I have um, for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys got something out of it. I'm sorry that it was a little late. Thankfully, where is he? Oh, he's still quiet over there. Success. Um, does anyone have any questions or anything to add? I'd love to hear anything you guys got to offer. Like I said, I'm going to be posting the recognition. <laughs> yes, I will. Good job, Maxie. Good job, bud. You are good. You're a good listener. <laughs> he had a nap today, so we, I don't think he's going to be going to bed anytime soon. He doesn't nap anymore. So once he gets a nap in, it's a late bed night, bedtime night. Um, so I'm going to post these graphics in the training page. Feel free to comment and start a discussion under them. I'd love to um, chat with you guys about it. <laughs> Can you say bye to everybody? Bye. Say we love you, Jamboree friends. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, thanks. Is that Erica? Thank you, Erica. When you send Christmas, oh, I'm losing it. I can't see it. Um, no, I think you asked. I was started to lose it. If you, if I put my business card in it, no. These Christmas cards go to your VIP, so they know your contact information. I do, I suggest don't make it salesy or or seem salesy. Just genuine Christmas card to wish them and their family a happy holiday. Um, from your local Jamboree consultant and leave it at that. Oops, computer turned off. Um, of course, it's your decision, your preference, but that's just my suggestion. These Those cards wouldn't be going out to anybody that hasn't already bought from you, so they'll know who you are. Any other questions before we go? Okay. Well, I hope you guys have a great week, and um, next week, Get yourselves prepared because we're going to have a really awesome um, week-long training from Rachel Bufano on organization. She's going to take us through a boot camp to organize our lives, which I know I need help with. Um, so I'll talk to you guys soon. Love y'all. Bye.